San Rosa Quilt Gale friends, I'm Caroline Pope and today I'm going to show you a quick TSW on my new favorite way of hanging quilts. The best part of this method is there's no hammer, no nail, and no holes in your wall. I use these command strips, they're for picture hanging, but now they're for quilt hanging. So they come in sets of 12 and what you do is you pull apart a row and you take two of them and you pull them apart and you'll be using two of them for each um, position that you want to put on your quilt. So let me show you. This is hung. I've used this method on only small and medium quilts, but I think you could go larger depending on how many of these you wanted to use. Voila. What we are going to do is we're going to take one set and we're going to put, we're taking off the adhesive and we're going to attach it to the wall. And then we're going to do that for two, three, and four. I used four on this quilt because this was a pretty large quilt. I've used three on the top for smaller quilts. You can also put them on the bottom if you don't like the look of uh, the flow off of the wall. So the first set, you would just take off the adhesive and you would attach them to the wall, just like you would for picture hanging. The second part is that you are gonna sew the other half of the strips onto your quilt. So what I did was I peeled off the adhesive, I stuck it on, and then I sewed all the way around, and you want to sew all the way around to make sure this is tough, because this is the one you're going to be pulling on and off the wall if you decide to change your quilt. And basically that's it. That's all there is to it. You want to hear this potato chip-like sound when you put them together. So when you put your quilt back up on the wall, you want to hear that sound. And I want to hear that sound again. And voila, your quilt is hung.